Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Shanghai output expected to reach approximately 3,000 vehicles per day after factory upgrades. Tesla Giga Berlin is aiming for 3,000 Model Y per week starting October, reports suggest. EV tax credits for Tesla and other capped-out automakers revived, thanks to Senate deal. And, Tesla's range prediction updates get extremely detailed in 2022.20.7. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. When Tesla finishes Giga Shanghai's upgrades, the factory will have the capacity to produce around 3,000 vehicles per day. Giga Shanghai is also expected to introduce a third shift of workers to the factory. Tesla China estimates that recent upgrades to the production lines increased the factory's capacity. In addition to a third shift, the Shanghai Gigafactory is expected to produce between 1,000 to 2,000 Model 3 units daily. The Model Y assembly line would have the capacity to produce up to 2,200 units per day. Tesla China finished upgrading the Model Y assembly line on July 16. It is currently completing upgrades to the Model 3 production line. Tesla China started upgrading the Shanghai factory earlier this month, halting production for some time. The company expects to complete the Model 3 assembly line upgrades by August 7. Tesla Model 3 production would restart on August 8. COVID shutdowns hampered Tesla Shanghai production in the first and second quarter. Despite the shutdown, however, Tesla reported that Giga Shanghai achieved new production records in June. So just as a Q2 recap, Q2 was a unique quarter for Tesla due to a prolonged shutdown of our Shanghai factory. But in spite of all these challenges, it was one of the strongest quarters in our history. Most importantly, in June, we achieved production records in both Fremont and Shanghai, highlighted Elon Musk during the last earnings call. Moving to the next update, Tesla Giga Berlin is aiming for 3,000 Model Y per week starting October, reports suggest. Tesla definitely seems to be coming back with a vengeance for the second half of 2022. Amidst reports that Gigafactory Shanghai is targeting an impressive output of 3,000 vehicles per day after its factory upgrades, Giga Berlin is also reportedly looking to achieve a somewhat similar milestone, 3,000 Model Y per week, starting October 2022. If Tesla Germany is successful, it would be a huge victory for Gigafactory Berlin. The facility, after all, was only permitted to start vehicle production this past March. Elon Musk mentioned last month that Gigafactory Berlin was already able to produce 1,000 Model Y in one week. Tesla SVP of powertrain and energy engineering, Drew Baglino, also noted in last week's earnings call that Giga Berlin could hit 5,000 vehicles per week by the end of the year. Citing sources familiar with the matter, industry insider Tesla Mag recently reported that since Monday, Giga Berlin employees have been working in two shifts with the goal of producing 1500 Model Y per week. This number will reportedly be ramped at least until Tesla Germany could produce 3000 Model Y per week. The target for this milestone is reportedly in October. At a rate of 3000 Model Y per week, Giga Berlin would be producing about 600 vehicles per day on an estimated five-day workweek. For the beginning of October, Tesla Germany would reportedly utilize three shifts of workers at Giga Berlin, though with 80% staff occupancy. The publication also noted that so far, one of the roadblocks that have prevented Giga Berlin from ramping its vehicle production was the wastage from the Gigapresses for the Model Y's rear underbody. Thanks to the recent upgrades to Giga Berlin, however, the wastage from the Gigapresses has reportedly been reduced by about 10%. Tesla Giga Berlin is still a work in progress. So far, the facility is only producing one car from the factory's first phase. Over time, however, Tesla has noted that Giga Berlin should be capable of producing about 500,000 vehicles annually, allowing the facility to address the demand for the all-electric crossover in the region. Moving to the next update, EV tax credits for Tesla and other capped-out automakers revived, thanks to Senate deal. Tesla and other automakers 
who capped out of the EV tax credits in the United States, like General Motors, might get another shot at incentives. Senators Chuck Schumer and Joe Manchin recently announced a deal that would introduce new incentives for electric vehicle purchases and EV battery production. On Wednesday, Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. It is a sweeping climate, tax, and health care bill scheduled to enter the Senate floor next week. The bill includes a $4,000 tax credit for electric vehicle purchases. The proposed Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 also includes incentives for EV battery production in the United States. Senator Manchin clarified that the incentives would encourage American companies to assemble EV batteries and extract minerals for battery cell manufacturing in North America. Manchin did not support EV tax credits in the past. Last month, the senator stated that the proposed $4,500 bonus tax credit for electric vehicles was scrapped. He also expressed his displeasure at the current state of the United States EV tax credit structure. The senator pointed out that American EV companies like Tesla and General Motors have capped out of the EV tax credit structure. However, foreign automakers can still take advantage of the $7,500 EV tax credit. Ford, General Motors, Stellantis, and Toyota have all urged the U.S. Congress to eliminate the cap on the $7,500 EV tax credit. Like GM and Tesla, Toyota has also reached over 200,000 EV unit sales, making it eligible for the tax incentives. Despite his past thoughts on EV tax credits, Manchin seems willing to compromise to get the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 passed. The West Virginia senator was the one who reached out to Schumer to revive talks that ultimately led to the bill's announcement on Wednesday. Moving to the last update, Tesla's range prediction updates get extremely detailed in 2022.20.7. Tesla's range prediction for its all-electric vehicles is getting a lot more detailed with update 2022.20.7. With the update, Tesla is going into extreme detail to make its range prediction as accurate as possible. The company is reportedly using factors such as phone charging and 12-volt accessory use to better determine how far a vehicle could travel with its battery's remaining charge. Range prediction for electric cars is extremely important as it provides information that could help drivers determine how far they could travel on their current charge. Accurate range predictions could then help travelers plan out their routes better. Tesla has already rolled out a number of improvements for its range prediction features in the past. Back in May, the 2022.16.0.2 update allowed Tesla's vehicles to update their navigation energy prediction feature by incorporating forecasted crosswind, headwind, humidity, and ambient temperature data. As per noted Tesla hacker, Green the only, the 2022.20.7 update takes an insane amount of variables when determining a vehicle's remaining range. These include tire pressure, energy loss due to phone charging, energy loss due to the use of 12-volt accessories, current air density, battery heating in cold months, and battery cooling in warm months. These seem to be the tip of the iceberg too, as the noted Tesla hacker stated that the update added numerous other extra variables for range predictions. That being said, update 2022.20.7 is currently being rolled out to Tesla vehicles, so it would likely be only a matter of time before tests of the company's revamped range predictions are shared online. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.